Hi, I'm Derek from Good Times Marine. Let's just start this off by saying kids don't try this at home. We've got a crazy storm bearing down from in the west and it's a summer storm here in Sydney. So it could be pretty interesting trying to get back to the boat ramp. But we're out in Australia's toughest, strongest Australian made boat. It's the Hain Signature 525 RF and I have no doubt it's never going to let me down. 525 RF is kind of an extension from the original V16 going way, way back. John Haynes days senior in the Haynes Hunter. This is a modern variation of it, running on Signature's variable dead rise hull with its carbon Kevlar hull reinforcement. It's a significant jump in technology in the design and the features of the boat from what you saw back 20, 30 years ago. And that's what you would expect from a John Haynes design boat. The 525 RF has the enclosed bow area. It is a full walkthrough. You have the benefit of being able to lift up this lid and get right to the front of the anchor. There's a step system here as well, so if you wanted to make it an easy jump out of the boat onto the beach, you can do that as well. So really good access in this boat all the way through from the bow all the way back to the stern. You have storage in here under both these areas here, so plenty of room to be able to put um, towels, safety gear, what any bits and pieces you want to take with you. There's a lot of area here and it's fully shelved as well, so nice and protected and held safe. Now this little step down area here which you use as your walkthrough, probably isn't designed for this but because it's got a drain hole here you could use that if you land on some big fish and quite long fish you'd easily be able to use that as an additional kill tank but there is a kill tank that is provided in the boat nicely set up with the drain in there as well the boat comes standard with the carpeted center section and then the flow coat either side but you can get that with a clipping carpet just like this boat has and then this managing amount of room here for a boat that's just over five meters it is huge and that's the whole benefit of pushing this the driver and passenger forward closing off the bower there and it just creates a really big area here um, great for fishing four people not a problem there's plenty of room for it there's a massive massive bait tank really really deep give an indication so down to my elbow and very wide as well so if you're going to be running big liveys there's plenty of room in that but you can also use that for a, king, uh, for a kill tank too if you're catching whiting and brim and flathead there's enough room in there for that as well so the back of the boat here you've got the fold down rear lounge which is really really handy it's beautifully out of the way for fishing but when you're going to be taking people with you you can drop it down plenty of comfortable seating walk through transom is a great idea not only just for family boating, but from a fishing point of view, if you're going to be pulling in a massive tuna or something like that, nice to be able to drag it through the door, wink, wink. Come to the back of the boat here, horsepower. We've got a 115 Pro XS Mercury four stroke on the back. Now that produces somewhere in excess of 125 plus horsepower and gets this boat really humming along. We're clocking speeds in the mid 70 km an hour category, which is a great performance for a boat this size. Now, typically a 90 on this boat will be more than adequate, um, even an 80. Um, ideally my pick 90 horsepower, but if you do want to get that extra top end speed, the 115 is an absolute cracker. So in the main driver area here, in the 525 RF, we've got a very big area here for sounders. Now 12 inches is absolutely going to be no dramas at all. We've only compact little 5 inch um, sounder on this boat here and it looks kind of small, um, but no problems at all. You want to run up to a 12, it's going to fit easily. Plenty of room on the dash if you want to run the standard traditional analog. This has got the smart craft technology gauges, and then from there you can go to the modern digital gauges. I'm pretty sure you could even run a set, one of the new 7 inch digital screens if you wanted to as well. There's plenty of room there to be able to fit that on. One of the cool things about the boat is this incredibly deep freeboard. The freeboard is maintained the full way through, so there's no problems in feeling confident if you're out wide and uh, chasing some of the pelagics out wide. There's plenty of depth here to feel like you're nice and safe. The boat comes in just over 1,200 kilos on a trailer, and it's a single axle trailer, so it's very easy to tow, very easy to maneuver into your, into your carport. And because of the low windscreen, carport parking should be no problems at all. It's a really, really good little trailer boat. Very, very capable. It's a fantastic fishing boat, and that's its main pedigree. The 525 RF, lots of internal room, lots of room to go fishing and go out and have a great time on the water. Come down to the sea, the guys at Good Times Marine. We've definitely got a way of building this boat at the right price point for you, and you'll have a great time on the water.